The Possessed Painting, a short animated horror story. Introduction It was a painting like no other. A painting that seemed to have a life of its own. A painting that seemed to be possessed by something sinister. That's how the story begins. A young woman named Emily discovers a painting in her grandmother's attic. The painting is an old, dusty canvas that depicts a dark, eerie forest with twisted trees and a full moon in the sky. Emily was immediately drawn to the painting. It had an almost mystical quality to it, and she couldn't help but feel that there was more to it than met the eye. Little did she know, the painting was going to change her life forever. As she took the painting down from the wall, she felt a chill run down her spine. She couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching her. Without realizing it, Emily had just unleashed a dark, malevolent force that had been trapped in the painting. The possessed painting was now free to roam the world and wreak havoc on anyone who crossed its path. Emily took the painting home with her and hung it up in her bedroom. She couldn't explain why, but she felt a strange attraction to it. As she settled down to sleep that night, she felt a presence in the room with her. She tried to ignore it, but the feeling persisted. That's when she heard it. A faint whisper, coming from the direction of the painting. Emily sat up in bed, her heart racing. She knew she was alone in the room, but the voice was unmistakable. Emily, it said. Emily, come closer. Terrified, Emily tried to ignore the voice and go back to sleep. But it was no use. The painting had taken hold of her, and it wouldn't let go. Over the next few days, Emily became obsessed with the painting. She spent hours staring at it, trying to decipher its hidden meaning. But the more she looked, the more confused she became. The painting seemed to change before her eyes, its colors becoming more vibrant and its shapes more pronounced. Emily couldn't explain it, but she knew that the painting was alive. One night, as she lay in bed, Emily felt a strange sensation in her chest. It was as if something were trying to climb out of her. She sat up, gasping for air, and saw that the painting was glowing with an eerie light. And then she saw it. A figure, emerging from the painting. It was a dark, shadowy shape that seemed to take on a life of its own. Emily tried to scream, but no sound came out. The figure approached her bed, and she could feel its cold breath on her face. Emily knew that she had to do something to stop the painting. She couldn't let it possess her any longer. With all the courage she could muster, she reached out and touched the painting. At that moment, the world around her changed. She was no longer in her bedroom, but in the dark, twisted forest that the painting depicted. The figure was there with her, looming over her like a dark cloud. Emily knew that she had to destroy the painting. She searched for something to use, but all she could find was a small rock. She picked it up and hurled it at the painting with all her might. There was a loud crash, and the painting shattered into a million pieces. And with it, the figure vanished, leaving Emily alone in the forest. But she was grateful for the experience. It had taught her that there was more to the world than what she could see, and that sometimes, the things that scared her the most were the things that could teach her the most. The possessed painting had been a dark, malevolent force, but it had also been a teacher. And in the end, Emily was stronger for it. Please tell me what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.